Hi guys, this is Ajit here from Interview Network and welcome to your channel one more time. This time we are trying to create a video in a different way. I hope you guys must like the content. So as by the thumbnail, uh, you must be knowing the today we are going to discuss about uh, how to influence the BGP outgoing traffic. One might can I say the answer like uh, the two BGP attributes which we use to influence the outgoing traffic. One is local preference and one is uh, weight. That's number one answer. अच्छा ठीक है नंबर टू आंसर वुड बी लाइक समवन कैन से डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर नेटवर्क डिजाइन यू कैन यूज वेट और लोकल प्रेफरेंस एज योर आउटगोइंग ट्रैफिक फॉर द बीजेपी ठीक है समझ गया एंड थर्ड वे टू से द आंसर लाइक well it all depends how you want to influence the uh, bgp organ traffic we do have uh, bgp attributes like weight and local preference which can be used to influence the outgoing traffic but yes also there are certain other uh, you know features in bgp like we can use the access list we can use the prefix list we can use the community to influence the outgoing traffic so it all depends upon your uh, requirement upon your network design how you want to use a uh, and which attributes or which feature you want to use in bgp to influence the bgp or gun traffic bhai maza aaya aur main ye jo maza hai hindustan ke har vyakti ko dena now so guys you can see now there are three ways that uh, you know a person can give the answer so which is the way which you like in this video and what is your preferred way to say the answer so let's understand now under which network design we have to use bgp or weight attributes and under which network design we have to use a bgp local preference Uh, to advertise the bgp outgoing traffic and moreover we also need to understand under which network design or circumstances we have to use other attributes or other feature like access list or route map or prefix list or something else that can help me to advertise the bgp outgoing traffic so let's start this video now and before we proceed further so do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel and do uh, order the pdf in case if you are preparing for the interview that's going to help you a lot today we are going to discuss about the weight and local preference which is one of the most common used uh, bgp attributes to influence the outgoing traffic so let us uh, understand first weight uh, its feature so as you can see on the screen now so weight is is a, it is a cisco proprietary that means it is only a uh, work on cisco router number 2 it is local to router so the values that it learn will be uh, local to the router itself and number 3 it says a default value uh, which is zero for the route it learn so router you know for example if router a learn the router any routes from router b so let's take like this in this scenario so if i have this router and this router and if router r1 learn any subnet from r2 let's take an example 2.0.0 so for that its default value will be zero and any routes that it originate itself for example r1 if originates any routes its default value will be 32768 Okay, so I'm sure uh, that's clear to you. So let's move to another part. Let's take this example here. As you can see here in this network design, uh, or here, if I let me check. So this is my AS number one. Now this has a router R1, R2, and R3, as you can see on the screen. So in this network design, as you can see, router R1 has two exit path. Okay, with this interface, this one. let me just select for you so one this interface isp1 and another with isp2 now here again if i have to uh, by default in in your situation let's take an example all the preferred routers you know routes are going outside your network by isp2 here okay now if you want to make isp1 as a preferred interface for all your exit routes you know any routes that that should go outside your router r1 you should prefer the path r ISP one, not ISP two. In that case, what you have to do on the ISP one interface, you have to increase the weight value more than on interface compared to ISP two. Okay, so for in this case example, ISP two has a weight value equal to for text. Let's take example. It's a default three two seven six eight. Then, if you want to make it preferred. Make it as a four thousand. What happened that any uh, routes that will go outside your network will go via to ISP one, not ISP two, because we have increased the weight value and highest is always preferred, as we already know the main feature of BGP weight attributes. So you can see from here that uh, 
number one thing is that it is local to the router and number two it is a cisco proprietary so it's all it will only work on the cisco router well, let's take another scenario here as you can see on the screen let me expand this for you so you can see here uh, in this screen so we have as1 as2 as3 and as4 sorry for my wrong, wrong uh, rough diagram so as you can see here let me take the black pen for you okay now from here, as you can see, uh, if my router three has two exit path, one via AS2 and another with AS4, this is my AS4. So if AS2, you know, or, you know, originates, uh, send any routes to router three, let's take an example, 2.0.0.0 slash 24 with AS number two and same subnet will be learned via AS2 and then AS3 and then AS4. And as you can see from here to here and from here to here, it will come to this interface. So we have two interface, one interface uh, where RT will receive this route via on this interface, via AS2, only one AS path and another on this interface. Here it's learning the same route with, uh, via AS2, AS3 and AS4. By default, as we know, for incoming traffic, uh, router three will uh, install the best route as AS2 because it has the lowest AS path. Okay. Now, to pref you know, to influence the outgoing traffic, what we can do, we can uh, make again on this interface. If we want to make this as a preferred interface, this one as a preferred interface, what we can do here, we can increase the the weight value on this interface to more than this interface. So for example, if this interface has a, you know, by default, its value is 32768, I can make on this interface 4,000. So the traffic will move to via this path direction. Okay, that's another way to understand here. Now the problem will start here in case as this, you know, R1, R2 and R3, as you can see here in AS1, let me just say this is my AS1. So R1, R2, and R3, they all are part of AS1. Now, in case if router two wants to uh, advertise, you know, any route outside, okay, so it doesn't know that this is the preferred path to go. Why? Because this values which I have added or increased here, that value is local to the router itself. It's not know uh to the entire as okay so if uh, this router two or router one wants to uh prefer this path you know they can do because they can what they have to do they have simply have to do the same thing they have to increase the interface uh, weight values and instead of going the traffic uh via you know which we have selected via this path they can do they can try to increase the traffic via this path Directly. That means from R1 to R2, R2 to R3, then it should go to AS3, AS2, correct? Because the values which we have added here, that is local to the router itself. It's not local to the AS. And that can create the chaos in the network. So in order to resolve this problem, we have the another BGP attributes, which we are going to discuss now, and that is our local preference. So in terms of local preference, as we all know, local preference, highest value is preferred and uh, by default, its value is 100, okay? So let's take an example in the same uh, example. If I have uh, AS1 here and I have router this and that is connected to another AS2 with this router and this is connected to another AS Let's take this example, AS3, and this is going to look like this. Okay, make it this AS3. Now, any changes, if I increase the, for example, again, same subnet. So again here. So if this router originates 2.2.0, okay, the same thing here, it will learn the same path from AS2. And again, another, this interface will learn the same route from AS2, then AS3, 
and then it will learn here. So you can see here again the same situation, same scenario, and preferred will be uh, AS2 because to receive the packet. Now, if we have to influence the outgoing traffic here, what we can do, we can increase the whichever path we, which we have to prefer. If this interface is preferred, we can increase the interface local preference value here more than 100 because here this router also local LP value will be 100 by default. In this router also LP value will be 100 by default, right? Now, if I want to make this path as a preferred, for example, uh, this interface as a preferred, it should go to via AS3 and then AS2. Then what I can do, I can increase the value here from 100 to, let's just say, let me open it again. So from 100 to, I can take as a 200. So on this interface, I will put the LP value of 200. So now this will be applicable to entire AS. And now router, for example, if this is router A, this is router B, and this is router C. So router A also knows and router B, both router knows that two, uh, any traffic that should go outside of this AS1, it has to follow this interface and not this interface. Okay. So it all depends upon your requirement and uh, how the network has been set up and how you want to influence the traffic. I'm sure uh, this path must be clear to you. So let's move to another section where we'll be learning uh, how you can use the access list or the route map to influence the outgoing traffic. So guys, now, as you can see in this network design where my requirement is to uh, advertise two uh, prefix with the two different ISP. So now what I want to uh, convey the message here is like, uh, let's take an example. So my LAN is, you know, advertising two subnet, which is 1.1.1 .1 and 2.2.2 slash 24. So what I want that 1.1 .1 should advertise via ISP1 and 2.2.2 .2 should be advertised via ISP2. So in this case, weight and local preference both won't work because as weight is local to the router and lo and uh, Local preference is local to the AS, but that work for the entire prefix, and there is no way that you can filter the network. But here, I what I want, I want to advertise my subnet, but conditional advertisement. Okay, so here also what I want, what I want to achieve here is to advertise my outgoing traffic, PGP outgoing traffic, but with the condition that I want to prefer specific uh, path for my specific subnet. So under these circumstances, what we have to do. This is the most common asked questions uh, in interview also. So what we have to do, we have to create an access list here. And in that access list, then we have to create a route map. And then on each interface that we have, gig one slash one, we have to call that route map that we are going to create it. Okay, so I have already mentioned the steps that we should follow. So let me show you the steps also. So guys, in order to achieve the same, uh, ask what we have to do now. We have create an access list. We are going to permit my first prefix, which is 1.1.1. And then we are going to create a route map. And as we know, in, all, in each route map, we have to match the condition. What we are going to match, we are going to match our first prefix, which is 1.1.1. And we after match, we have to do a set command in the route map where we are going to set the interface 1 slash 1. So what exactly we are doing, permitting the 1.1 uh, via access list. And then we're creating a route map where we are matching the IP address that we have defined in the access list, which will be 1.1.1. And then we are asking if it match the condition, then your exit path should be gig one slash one, which is our original ask. And for the subnet 2.2.2, what we are going to do, we are going to create another route map. And there we are going to set the interface as gig one slash two for 2.2.2. Once your configuration is done, what we have to do, in order to implement the configuration on gig one slash one, we that is interface, we have to call our first route map which we have already created initially. Okay, so in this way, uh, via access list and the route map, we, what we can do, we are actually influencing the outgoing traffic. Khatam. Bye bye, Tata. Goodbye. Gaya.